Welcome to our next video. Today we're going to be showing you um, how to adjust uh, the back checks uh, and the checking distance on, on a vertical piano here. Um, the first thing you want to do, and just to clarify what our parts here are, here we've got the whipping. Uh, this right here is the back check, um, which uh, catches on this part of the hammer butt, which is called the catcher. Okay, so this is the catcher, which catches the back check. Um, and what that does is, uh, as you play the note, the hammer will go forward, and if you play with it, it's, it's going to catch, the back check is going to catch the, check, the catcher, so it doesn't, uh, so the hammer doesn't fall all the way back, which aids in repetition, okay, and, and uh, the distance that this hammer is from the string, when the uh, back check catches the catcher, or the, the hammer butt there, um, that's that's the um, adjustment that we're going to be making. Now, first of all, the, th the first thing that you want to do is you want to go through um, and check that uh, all the back checks are square um, and that they're they catch squarely on the catcher. Okay. Now, this one uh, I can see you might not be able to see in the video, but uh, it's it's uh, twisted uh, this way. So when it, when you push it down, it's catching the left side of the catcher before it catches the right. So I'm going to take this tool here, which is um, our uh, it's a back check removing tool. Uh, this tool can also be used to remove the um, the back check felt if you're replacing that, but it fits down over the the back check. And you want when you when you twist this, you want to hold this whipping. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it this way because it's uh, it's uh, it's not uh, squaring, so I'm going to just twist that a little bit, make mm -hmm. sure that the back check is catching squarely. Now the other thing is you want to make sure that it's 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 uh, even side to side, which and I can see that it's uh, a little to the left. So. Um, this is a back check and bridle wire regulating tool. Okay, and of course, uh, here we're going to be moving it to the left. Now, what you might have to do is you might have to move the bridle wire a little bit out of the way in order to get at that back check wire. Okay, because you want you don't want, if you move it just right up here, it's just going to twist it. Okay, so you want to get um, you want to get it further down. And again, hold on to that whipping so that you don't break the whipping flange when you twist that. Okay, so now, again, I don't know if you can see in the video, but you want it so that... Oh, I'm seeing it's still a little bit to the left. There we go. So, so now I, the, the, um, it's hitting side to side even with the catcher. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do is go through and make sure those are those are all square and um, even with uh, with the catcher, so they ha catch them squarely, so you have a solid uh, solid um, uh, contact there. Um, but then the, mo the the and again we want to go back and put our back check wire back where it should be, otherwise it's going to affect the note next to it like that was. Um, now the most cru the, the next and, and most important thing is is measuring the distance that the the hammer is from the string when you do a moderate blow. So um, what we're going to do here is and it should be five eighths, nine sixteenths, somewhere in that uh, that vicinity. Which uh, those of you that uh, do metric, that's going to be about uh, sixteen millimeters uh, approximately. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be shooting for about five eighths of an inch. Um, if it's uh, if it's a larger piano, you could probably go with a slightly uh, bigger or a wider back check distance. Okay, now when I measure this, here I've got my stainless steel rule, which measure measures up to thirty seconds of an inch. I can see that it's no, oh, it's probably only about seven sixteenths. So. Um, now you can either use uh, again the back check and bridle wire regulating tool, uh, which which works real good. And what you would do is um, 
and you want to, and all you're going to do is you're going to you're going to put it on the wire if you're using the tool, and to to move it back to make the back check distance or the checking distance greater, you want to move that head so it it comes back a little bit, and that's going to increase your distance. Okay, if it needs to be closer, then you want to move it forward. Okay, by pushing your tool up. Okay, now I, it, that, that went way too close because I was already too close, but um, what I'm going to do is move this back a little bit. Okay, and it doesn't take much. I probably went too far. See, now, now I'm about 7 eighths. Okay, so it, again, it's just a slight amount. Um, some technicians do this by hand. If you hold the whipping and push, now we want to push up because we need it to be closer. You get a feel for it. It doesn't take real much, very much at all. And there we're real close to five eighths. So we just do a slight amount more. And there we're uh, just between five eighths and nine sixteenths. So which is right, right about where we should be. We want to figure it about five eighths, nine six, somewhere in nine sixteenths. Okay, so that'll that'll give you the best feel uh, for checking. If it's if it's way too far back, you're gonna have um, you're not gonna have good repetition um, because the hammer has to come back too far to be able to repeat the note. Okay, so that's um, that's that's basically the way to adjust the back check. And then you would go through and, and you can do it once you've got one set. You know, you don't you get to where you don't have to use this the ruler on each one, but you kind of get a feel by looking. The, you know what the distance should be. Okay, and the other thing is once you've got one set, you play the one next to it. Okay, and I can see that one's more that that one's more forward, so so I know I have to come back a little bit. And you can use the the one that you've already adjusted to line up. Now, uh, ideally, and it doesn't always work out this way, but ideally, um, by the time you're done, your back checks should all be in the same, uh, all in, in an even line. Um, you know, that's with all other things being perfect, which we know with pianos isn't the case. But uh, you know, if if everything else is lined up and all your none of your parts are worn or anything, all these back checks should be in the same at the same level. Uh, so um, that's one thing to watch. But again, it doesn't always work that way. So you want to um, you adjusting these uh, the back checks to to make it so that uh, you're not too close or too far um, really helps improve um, the regulation of the piano and make gives a better feel. So again, all our tools that I showed you here are available on our website, howardpianoindustries.com.